Hey guys, so I just got back from the mall. This is looking amazing. And I picked up a little something something. Okay, where am I even gonna go to unbox this? Kitchen has best lighting, but the floor is all crummy and needs to be swept. I mean, I could sweep it. I don't know, I haven't decided. But, the story behind this is, um, I've been wanting a new laptop for a while because mine is a big clunker and it's extremely slow. And I really only use it when I travel. Ooh, I thought the light was off. I really only use it when I travel to do video editing, like editing my vlogs and such. And my videos export in like 15 minutes for a 10 minute vlog. But on my laptop, if I do that and dumb down the settings, it takes over six hours. And that's just not doable. And um, yeah, it's just so slow. Even while I'm editing, it lags so bad. So I don't know, this thing, yeah. And it weighs about 10 pounds because I once, once my bag was overweight and so I took my laptop out and then it was underweight and the, the weight difference was 10 pounds. And I was like, is this actually 10 freaking pounds? I mean, it is so so heavy it's just not good for portable video editing so I was like I need something that's more powerful and something smaller because I got this guy before I moved to Saskatoon so that was like 2010 or 11 like hey I graduated high school in 2008 then there was 2008 2009 so yeah it was like the 2010 school year <laughs> that's old that is old man you so old in technology years so, sorry, I'm still gonna keep it obviously, but I'm just, yeah, I need something smaller, lighter, faster. So I was looking up laptops forever today at work. <coughs> and, um, cause I was like, I, was, I had that thought run through my mind again. Oh, I need a new laptop before Christmas. And then I was like, oh my God, it's the weekend of Black Friday. This is the best time to go looking for deals. So I was looking up, trying to figure out which laptop I wanted, but all the PCs were so expensive for, to have the capabilities I wanted like I would look up lists of what ones are best for video editing and it's either you get like these crappy laptops that I can't really edit videos or you get these good ones that are super expensive and I was just like Ugh, I was so torn I actually almost ended up going with a MacBook Pro 13 inch because the MacBook Air was just kind of it didn't really seem like I oh, just didn't want it and then I was talking with my sister on Google Chat and she was like, oh, Wendell, our brother, would probably tell you to go with the Surface Pro 3. And I was like, oh my God. And so I was looking up stuff about that and it was just like this whole long process <laughs> of me looking up different computers. I actually also really liked the Lenovo Yoga 3, but it is so expensive. With tax, it would have cost me $1,800. And I was like, no, and plus I was kind of reading reviews that it's not actually that great for video editing, but it's not terrible. But I was just like, okay, that's a little bit pricey for what I'm getting. So I opted to go for the Surface Pro 3. Bow, bow, bow. It's pretty much a tablet that functions like a laptop. Okay, let's unbox this sucker. We'll start with the keyboard. <laughs> That is pretty much it. <laughs> it just snaps onto the tablet. Ooh, listen to that. Clickety click. It's kind of loud. <laughs> Anywho, set that aside. Yeah, I just got my nasty fingerprints all over it. Way to go, Bales. I mean, it's a touch screen, so it's going to happen, but yeah, dang. I wonder if it's already partially charged. Where are the power button? <laughs> Can't find anything. Yeah, I don't think it's charged. <laughs> well, that's a bummer. I'll charge it and show it to you guys later, though. But yeah, here's a look at the body, and it's got a little kickstand. I think that's the one downside to choosing this as opposed to a laptop is you, you can't really set it on your lap very nicely. <laughs> you have to be at a table, really. How the heck do I open the kickstand? <laughs> I'm so incompetent. Oh, there we go. There we go. 
There we go. Nice fingerprints there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And I think you can adjust it as well. Yeah, you can tilt it back as far as you want to see how far back it goes. Cool. Oh, careful now. <laughs> okay, let's attach it to the keyboard. Magnetic, ooh, it just snaps right in pretty easily. Nice, nice. That is gonna be so nice and portable, not too heavy. I mean, it's still got a decent amount of weight to it, but it's a lot lighter than my current laptop, and then most laptops do. Uh, yes, okay, I'm gonna charge this up, and then I'll show more of it later. Oh, wait, wait, I didn't show the other stuff in the box. Oh, there's a battery here. Oh my God, wait, oh, this is for the pen. Okay, <laughs> I was confused for a second, just like battery. Anyway, little manual, and the pen. This is really nice because I can have Photoshop on here and I can draw. Yeah, and this has pressure sensitivity. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Let's see if there's anything else underneath. It feels kind of heavy. Probably like a cable, a charger, or something. <laughs> Also, one downside of this is there's no SD card slot on it, so when I edit my videos, I'll have to use um, an adapter. And I mean, I do that for my desktop, too. My desktop doesn't even have an SD card slot. There's a micro SD card slot, so I can put extra memory on there if I need to. Yeah, a little power brick right here. And then the actual plug-in. Pretty cool. Let's charge this baby. Wait a minute. What is this? This was in the keyboard box. It's a little sticky thing. Wait, what? Oh, it's for the pen. It's the little pen holder. I see. Yeah. So portable. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. This looks like someone licked it. <laughs> One thing about this keyboard is it somehow just collects all the oil from your fingers. Like, look at this. It makes me look like I had the greasiest fingers ever, but no, like, it's just my normal fingers. But I don't know, it looks kind of gross. It's pretty decent pressure sensitivity. It's actually kind of nice. And you can change the way it, like, how hard you need to press to get what kind of percentage of the sensitivity but yeah it's pretty cool yay it's like a tablet but the sucky thing is if you fold this over the other way you can no longer reach the keys and I use a ton of keyboard shortcuts so you'd kind of be limited to clicking things on here like if I want to quickly change brush size or switch from brush to something else I use hotkeys so much see now I have it folded so the keyboard is under and you could even remove the keyboard but yeah, you don't then have the buttons right there to click, which is going to be really weird for me to get used to, but this is essentially like drawing on a Cintiq companion, I suppose. I mean, it's going to be different, but you get what I'm saying. It's like a little wireless touchscreen tablet, I suppose. Woohoo! I might play around with the settings, because I feel like you have to push harder to get it to start drawing. So right now it's not really drawing. Okay, now it is. But um, the, the Cintiq 22HD is more sensitive. So if you're touching super lightly like this, it will start to draw. So I think I need to play with my settings and see if I can fix that. Because that's the one thing I'm noticing here. That's what I thought the leg was at first, but it wasn't the leg. It was just that I wasn't pressing hard enough. And also, for some reason, Photoshop is super tiny. It doesn't scale like K, because the screen is really high resolution, but it's still a small screen, and so the program is not scaling so that I can actually click on things. Like, look how tiny this is! Like, these menus and stuff, it's like, 
file, a little tiny thing there. It just, I don't know, the menu is so tiny. Like, look, when the, the drop down menu is the proper size, but the text at the top is so tiny. <laughs> and look at this, it's like, I want to create a new layer. Whoa, now, that is very <laughs> dangerous. That is so tiny. But hey, better than nothing, right? So, this is insane. This is crazy. This isn't a feature I was looking for in a laptop. I really didn't care about the touch screen, but just the fact. It was just like a nice bonus. It's like, yay. I don't like touchscreen for my Cintiq, but I don't mind touchscreen on here, except I don't know. There's no like touch features in Photoshop. You could probably maybe download something so that it does like some kind of driver, but um, it's so weird to me. Like, you know, I've used my iPad, but this is so different because it's Windows and it's like, I can click things with my finger or I can use a little trackpad thingy or I can use the pen or I could use a mouse if I plugged one in. It's crazy to me. I'm having another problem here where I'm trying to adjust the sensitivity, but it keeps telling me Surface Hub cannot connect to the pen device, but my pen works perfectly fine throughout all the programs, except in here. And it's annoying because I don't like how to press so hard. I don't know. It's annoying and this is not working and I'm trying to Google answers and everyone's just like, download the firmware update and that I, it says it's up to date and I can't, I can't figure it out. <sighs> I'm practically ready to give up on that pen thing. But um, yeah, when I checked my pens drivers and stuff, it said there's nothing to update, but I'm just doing kind of a general Windows update. I said for it to look for updates and it said there was some kind of firmware update. I don't know if that'll solve the pen issue, but it's downloading right now and I'm just like, Good God, I'm sick of dealing with this. I just wasted my whole night trying to figure out this pen. Like seriously, I've been doing this for like two hours at least. Okay, so yeah, hopefully that works because I'm gonna go to bed soon because it's quarter to 11. So yeah, this download better hurry up. <laughs> Please update, be my savior. I waited half an hour for those updates and it worked. Ye ye ye. <laughs> oh my god. I was not expecting that to work at all. Oh my god. So I'm still not getting the sensitivity I want when I'm touching really lightly. It won't draw, but it I think this is better because I don't have to press as hard to get as thick of a line. I didn't quite max it out. Let's try maybe increasing that a little bit. Because when it's fully maxed out, it's kind of a little too much. You can't really get good thin lines. But around here, I think, kind of just above halfway, I can get thin lines, but I can also get kind of thick without pressing too, too hard. Yay! Oh my god, finally. Plus, just navigating Windows 8, I'm not really used to it. I've used a bit of it, but I'm still getting used to it, so. Yeah. Well, finally got that figured out. So I'm going to do one more thing before I go to bed. I'm actually going to transfer over a few clips from today's vlog and just try exporting them as kind of like a partial vlog and see at what kind of speed it goes for exporting video just to get an idea of how rendering will go once I start using this when I am home for the holidays. <laughs> okay, so I did a test with four minutes of clips and it said it was going to take an hour and 14 minutes to render out those four minutes, which is quite a lot compared to my desktop, but my desktop is obviously way more powerful. So then I unchecked that um, use maximum render quality setting and it says it's only gonna take nine minutes, which is pretty much at par, I think, with what my desktop does. Exporting takes often double the length of the vlog, sometimes a bit less. So this is just a tiny bit more than double the length. So yeah, if I just leave that option unchecked, it'll be decent, because like on my old laptop, this would have taken like six hours. So, yay! This is much faster. Um, it'll work great and yay, yay. Anyway, enough of this for tonight. My nerd baby, slowly getting things figured out here. I like the power cord because it's just magnetic. I think the MacBooks are like that too. It just kind of sucks itself in there. So nice, so nice. This evening started off like, whoa, super excite, and then it was all frustrating, and now I feel better. <laughs> Although I'm still sad I didn't get any animation work done tonight, but oh well. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I will be showing this stuff again in my actual fail mail video as well.
Next up, I have some stuff from Matilda from Sweden. So first, there's this picture here, which is really cool, and it's all laminated, which is pretty nice. And also this picture here. I really like this one just because, I don't know, just the style of the head makes me 